the public one. on the map, this, this one goes you go both ways on. Yeah. But once you get out past those, then we'll go with it all the way around. Yeah, you, uh, you can see when you guys stop, you're at right Welcome to Dave's Canoeing Adventures. Here we are on the Magnetowan River Loop. We did it once 10 years ago. We're doing it again. Hopefully it's going to be an amazing trip. Come on with us. <laughs> you guys find it hard to keep up or is it alright? Well, we're at a steady paddle to keep up. Okay, what was the first port on? Because I, uh... I, I can't read the name. What did the name say on that? Crap. Ten years ago, we had to lift over there. You didn't want to touch the whole time? No, I don't think it was here. Wasn't that close? It was when we came around. I thought that was between Bear Lake and Maple Lake. It's nice in here. The Leaning Pine Narrows. That was in the it's right there on the sign. Looking good, Dave. Pretty clear, eh? You can see bottom. You shifted your whole butt. You got a service here? GPSing us right now? I'm trying to. I'm trying to find it. It says it's over there on this map. Yeah. Well, we can we can meander to the left and see. Yeah, but on this one, it says there's two sites straight ahead somewhere. Are you locked in on GPS there? No, it says that location denied. I think this is not it. You got your map out there? Uh, no. I think it's the next lake, to be honest. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is Little Wilson. Yeah, this is Little Wilson for sure. Yeah. It doesn't open up that much. No, we don't need to cut hard left. It should almost be a meandering left. Yeah, but like, does it open up and do a big lake afterwards? No, we'll just take a big lake. No, this is, we keep going straight. I taught him all he knows about the compass, eh, Tail? Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's my protege. I used to do all the navigating and now Tyler's the man. And here is kind of connecting to this one. Horseshoe Lake a bit. Well, this map isn't exactly Poking like back in. topographical either, right? I like these maps. And they simplify it. It'll be just around, unless this just ends. It does. And Lily should be like right ahead of us. The little Wilson Lake just ends like that. There's two jet outs on it. One that has a creek that runs through it. There, die over here where that cottage is. So there's a little nub in there, which is this, which we just paddled up into. Yeah. So it should be right in here. If anywhere. Yeah, because that, that little Wilson goes, or big Wilson goes nowhere. Yeah. And we're beyond that. You're not seeing through that piece. Because that was straight up into it. I gotta go through that, that is a river that comes in there too. Let's go check out that river. So we should be able to see it, it somewhere. It might be, might be right close to that river. Yeah, it should be right along this edge. So you think we're on Big Wilson? Oh, I think we're definitely on Big Wilson. Look, looking at that map, it does seem like that. Oh, it doesn't hurt to do a little exploring. There's a little body of water halfway through this portage. Yeah, I guess that, that other map, you can zoom in and get right detailed on it. But, because it, it, it ends there. There's a small creek that runs through there. But, that's all. Well, oh, it is a thousand, right? Yeah. The kilometer. Eight hundred on our map, thousand on the GPS. Tyler, yeah. 
If that's a beach straight ahead, I say we stop and have some lunch. Some snackage. I got a hunger on. I got my lunch right near the top of my path. Hey, Chris. Hey, you can miss them guys. We're just going to stop at that beach and have a little lunch. I didn't pack any lunch. I got you. Oh, yeah, the candy. So then you can have some candy. Just a 15 minute break. 15 minutes? Got all day. I don't know about you guys, but this is also a vacation. <laughs> I want to eat my lunch. Dave's getting hangry back here. I still say we're making phenomenal time. How many more clicks we gotta go today? Well, after this next portage. Well, we, we put the map over. Yeah, we're on the next stage. Next portage, and we got like another six or seven K. And then another thousand meter portage, and then we're home. But that's, that's three kilometers of portage, and you get in our face here. Where's the other thousand before Bear Lake? Yeah, yeah, it's like a 937. Oh, okay. Well, that one's pretty close to camp, anyhow. Yeah, I actually think that one's shorter on D on Dutchie's uh, map. So that one might be at 800. Oh, yeah. This is a cool spot. Some of the beauty of the Magnetowan River right here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Day one's been going really well. We're making some good headway, good time. And it's our biggest day. It was like a lake. 13 hours like for it sure. It would have been a lake if the water level was higher. So picture this, what we're looking at right now, Tail. Yeah. But the water level was so low that it was just streams. And it went back and forth and it turned 180 on itself. The whole way. So we were just doing that the whole way. Roll the wheel we fast. Okay, we've made it to our site after 33 kilometers of travel. Would you do it again, Chris? One more time. We're getting dinner going. Got a rock warming up for our evening steak. Taylor's getting the potatoes going. Beautiful. Well, Shay, what's your favorite part so far? Got the fruits and my fork. Nice. The blue lake. The blue Sick. lake. The what? The one that was the uh, high, the rainwater lake. Yeah, that was awesome. That was pretty cool. No, nothing growing in it. That's for sure.
pretty much full milk with your food and we'll use them at the meal, right? Look at that, beans, potatoes, and bacon eggs. Hey Ty, what kind of steak do you get? Ribeyes. What kind? Ribeyes. Perfect for cooking on a fire. And what are you not to be afraid of? Salmonella. A little bit of? Mad cow. A little bit of rock steak. No. A little bit of mad cow. Flame. You just told it. Flame. Don't be afraid of the Don't flame. Don't be afraid of flame. That's what Cal VG says. Don't be afraid of the flame. Yeah. Master chef. Hey. The nightly job of doing dishes is being completed by Shay and Taylor. Watch as they dip their dishes into the lake and use soap to take the grease off. Show their wife they can actually do it. Have you been up for a while? Uh, Are you sitting on the water's edge? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure we're here today. Well, I gotta say. After traveling 33 kilometers, you get some good sleeps. Maple Lake is beautiful. And Maple Lake is gorgeous. Second time here, and I'll come back again. I'm sure it'll be on our our list as a permanent repeat. Is it 30 today? 30 today. It's gonna be tough. <laughs>